Bellbirds by Henry C. Kendall Read for LibriVox.org by Angela Bell in Sydney, Australia By channels of coolness the echoes are calling And down the dim gorges I hear the creek falling It lives in the mountain where moss and the sedges Touch with their beauty the banks and the ledges. Through breaks of the cedar and sycamore bowers Struggles the light that is love to the flowers And softer than slumber and sweeter than singing The notes of the bellbirds are running and ringing. The silver-voiced bellbirds, the darlings of daytime They sing in September their songs of the Maytime When shadows wax strong and the thunderbolts hurtle They hide with their fear in the leaves of the myrtle When rain and the sunbeam shine mingled together They start up like fairies that follow fair weather And straightway the hues of their feathers unfolden Are the green and the purple the blue and the golden. October, the maiden of bright yellow tresses, loiters for love in these cool wildernesses, loiters knee-deep in the grasses to listen, where dripping rocks gleam and the leafy pools glisten. Then is the time when the water moons, splendid, break with their gold and are scattered or blended over the creeks till the woodlands have warning of songs of the bellbird and wings of the morning. Welcome as waters unkissed by the summers are the voices of bellbirds to thirsty far comers. When fiery December sets foot in the forest and the need of the wayfarer presses the sorest, Pent in the ridges for ever and ever, the bellbirds direct him to spring and to river, with ring and with ripple, like runnels whose torrents are toned by the pebbles and leaves in the currents. Often I sit looking back to a childhood mixed with the sights and the sounds of the wildwood, longing for power and the sweetness to fashion lyrics with beats like the heartbeats of passion, songs interwoven of lights and of laughters borrowed from bellbirds in far forest rafters. So I might keep in the city and alleys the beauty and strength of the deep mountain valleys, charming to slumber the pain of my losses with glimpses of creeks and a vision of mosses. End of Bellbirds this recording is in the public domain.